So we're off to a great start. All right, you guys, hi, welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a book haul. Um, I have acquired a couple of books here and I'm just gonna be going through them. I feel like for the most part, I don't know what all the books are about, just cause I like to go in blind. So if I do know what it's about, I'll tell you a little bit about it. If not, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first book, oh my gosh, my eye is itching. Okay. So the first book that I have is something from Tiffany's. Um, this book is about um, a widower named Ethan and his daughter Daisy. So Ethan has a girlfriend and he's kind of just trying to involve her with his family. So he feels like this is the perfect time. It's Christmas time in New York. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna go to Tiffany's and get her some jewelry and then surprise her and you know, just like try and invite her into the family and get her more comfortable. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I just read the synopsis. He's actually proposing to her, so it's not just like random jewelry, it's literally an engagement ring. So he's really, really bringing her into the family. But there's also this guy named Gary Knowles. He's also going to Tiffany's to pick up something for his girlfriend as well. Myself, okay, you know what? I've actually seen like a plot like this from some movie. If there's like some like cheesy, like a Hallmark Christmas movie or something out there and something like this happens, I'm assuming Gary and Ethan are gonna have a mix up with their jewelry and then Ethan's engagement ring is gonna go to Gary and then Gary's gonna get, or what am I saying? Hold on. Gary's gonna end up with the engagement ring and then Ethan's gonna end up with whatever it is that um, Gary is supposed to be giving his girlfriend. I think they're probably not gonna check. Gary's gonna end up probably accidentally proposing to his girlfriend even though that's not his intention and then Ethan's gonna end up giving his girlfriend some jewelry. I've totally seen a movie like this, or not seen it, but I've, I've totally seen an ad for a movie like this. But yeah, so this is actually exciting. I'm excited to read this. Now I'm kind of picturing it in my head and now that I know like a little bit more, I am very intrigued and I want to read this pretty soon hopefully okay next up I have part of your world so we have Alexis and Daniel Alexis is an ER doctor she comes from a wealthy family and then we have Daniel who is a carpenter you know kind of just like opposite sides of the world she comes from money I think you know he's just a blue-collar hard-working man and they end up you know they're not dating but they're doing their thing so yeah i'm assuming they're gonna end up falling in love i don't think you know they're not there yet but i think that they will end up developing that sort of relationship okay this next book i don't know what possessed me to buy this book but i have it so hopefully i read it someday i have our country friends like the cover is not even really that appealing i don't know why i got this book but I did. I know it's about a group of friends and I think they're like kind of all staying together in some house and that's really all I, I'm not entirely sure what happens or what's gonna happen with it. I don't know, I think that this is probably gonna be on my TBR for a very long time. Oh well. Okay, next up I have A Touch of Darkness. This is a fantasy romance book. I literally only picked this up because it had romance in it and the cover is very, very pretty. Mostly just picked it up because the cover looks good. I don't know too much about it. I know it's about this girl. I don't know how to say her name. It's like Paraphone or something like that. Persephone. Um, she's the goddess of spring. And we have Hades who is the god of the dead. Um, they end up having some sort of encounter and Persephone ends up being involved with god of the dead in some way. But I'm assuming that they will end up together or end up like flirting and having some sort of romance. I don't really read fantasy, but... I don't know the cover was just really pretty so i got it um i've heard really good things about it though i have a bookstagram if you guys want to follow me i honestly haven't been posting on it that that often but it's there if you guys want to go ahead give me a follow but i posted this book on my bookstagram a few weeks ago and people were telling me that they love this book and it's really good and i need to read it so i will definitely give it a try at some point i'm wanting to film like um, like reading fantasy for a week or like reading thrillers for a week or reading romance for a week so when I decide which one I'm gonna do or maybe I'll just like do reading fantasy for a week at some point and then this will definitely be a part of that okay next up this book is so cute I haven't seen it anywhere but it's so cute and it's pink and I love pink so I got it I've not seen it anywhere uh, it's called highly suspicious and unfairly cute I don't know what it's about at all. It's just so pretty. Um, honestly, I feel like this book is like getting me in the mood to read. I haven't read in 
quite a while that'd be really exciting to find a book that like you know gets me back oh be really exciting to find a book that gets me back into reading i don't know i think he will probably he looks like a sporty guy he probably plays like football or basketball or something and then she kind of looks like she could be like the little really good girl who's you now like is very focused in school and just gets all her, her work done and they meet and you know have a cute little romance so i'm excited to read this it's only a little over 300 pages i believe yeah it's a little over 300 pages it's a quick read so i will probably be reading this book after this video okay next up i have a book that i've seen all over especially on booktube it is perfect marriage this book is about an affair um we have sarah and adam i believe yeah sarah and adam sarah is a defense attorney and adam is a struggling writer and i feel like he is just you know kind of jealous of his wife's success and he ends up having an affair with this woman named kelly and then sarah and adam have a second home and he ends up meeting kelly there that's when their affair starts i, I believe and next thing you know kelly ends up dead in their house stabbed to death and obviously adam looks very mysterious here so he, he's arrested for the murder and his wife has to come to his defense and defend him which just she's defending her husband for murdering his mistress which just seems very doesn't look too good for him but i'm just like why would he murder her prior to me even reading the synopsis i thought that he was suspected of killing his wife which i feel like would make more sense to me but i don't know why he would kill the mistress Unless he didn't kill the mistress and the wife killed the mistress. Why? You know what? I want to know why he is the suspect instead of the wife. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I'll hopefully try and read that soon because I'm very intrigued right now. Okay, next up I have a book that I saw a lot over the summer called The Summer Broken Rules. I'm sure you guys have all seen this book all over. Assuming it's a romance book, I really don't know what it's about. I haven't bothered to really look into it, but the cover was pretty and it was like $8, so I got it. And yeah, I will probably save this book for summer, so I won't be reading it anytime soon, unfortunately. I'm literally in the middle of a snowstorm right now. I gotta love Minnesota, guys. Next up, I have a Lucy Score book. I haven't even read a single one of her books yet, but I'm just so excited because the covers are so pretty and I've heard nothing but good things about them, so I have a lot of hope for these books. All right, so the next book that I... I already have um, Things We Never Got Over, so I just... I was at Target, I saw the sequel, I decided to get it. Even though I haven't read the first one, I just know that I'm gonna probably want to read it. So I got Things We Had From The Light. The cover is ridiculously pretty. I'm obsessed. I love pink. It's pink and it's pretty and I am very, very excited to read it. Um, I will say though that her books are very lengthy. This book is nearly like 600 pages it is a very hefty book i'm sure if it's like fast and keeps me engaged i will get through it pretty quickly so yeah i'm hoping to read the first one soon and then i can read the second one all right so the next book that i have is a non-fiction book that i have seen all over i've watched quite a few interviews about this book well not about the book about janet mccurdy and her book I had to get it because I just was very curious when I saw this and the cover and the title of this book I'm glad my mom died I was very curious especially because you know she is a child actress that I have watched for years and you would never think that she was going through the things that she was going through that are in this book so I definitely want to read more and get a little bit more insight on her journey and her struggles and I'm just really happy that she you know was able to kind of turn I feel like what was like just a horrible negative situation into something a little bit more positive and find a way to make it like a little comedic documentation of her life and everything that she went through and I just really want to know more about her story um the last book that I have well I don't have it with me right now it's in my car I just don't feel like going to get it so the last book that i have is the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle is that it yeah the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle um i don't really know what that book is about at all it just kind of obviously sounds like the seven deaths of evelyn hugo so pretty sure it's a thriller duh but um that's about it i don't really know too much else i randomly saw that book in someone's comments and i was like 
um i've never seen that anywhere it sounds good so i got it but yeah i just it's one person's opinion i'm going off of but that's okay because honestly i've been trying to branch out and not just read books that i'm seeing everyone else reading you know uh, hence the reason i got this book but yeah that is the last book um yeah those are all the books that i got i hope you guys enjoyed the video um be sure to subscribe if you did and let me know any videos that you guys want to see comment down below if you guys have read any of these books and your thoughts without spoiling it and what you rated the book below again thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.